started shaping with my frustration riding the old vintage long boards with the round rails in 1967 when the boards went really short I immediately said okay I want to ride a short board I didn't have the money so what I did was I grinded the rails peeled the glass and got the blank out of the inside it was probably the worst shape I've ever seen but it got me started shaping well the hydro hull came way later after 40 years of test piloting every shape and design if you look at surfboards they're really parts you got the V you got the rails you got rocker tail rocker nose rocker the hydro hull actually came from watching this Budweiser on television the boat was going 200 miles an hour in a turn and not flipping so I thought what if you tip the edges up so the edges are high up so you go rail to rail quicker and then when you turn it bites and drives but when you pivot off the top it's forgiving it doesn't catch so the concaves and the boards really started by trying to create lift for nose riding for hanging tent one of the things that we do now is we push the concaves all the way through in the nose to give it paddle power and trim speed not just lift in the hook so you'll find that this board forward drives under the white water and comes up in the open face where you can complete the wave the uh, concaves in the back this board's heavily V'd if you notice it really has a lot of V with double concaves now the doubles that takes the bottom rocker out of the board and it makes it jump from rail to rail to give it that ridiculous drive and punch out of the turns I love that feeling well, the Hydra Hull is probably the most versatile all round for a pro rider all the way down to a beginner. It's high performance that's forgiving. When you think about a big D fin and round bottom, that's a displacement hull. Then they came out with flat bottoms. Now when you have triple concaves, lifted rails that are forgiving and fast and loose, now you've got everything you've ever wanted. There's no bad part on this board. What you're looking at here is the evolution of the Hydra Hull which now, the, the real benefit now is the transition of these concaves, they totally blend from nose to tail. And you've got the speed in the front for trim speed, nose riding, then when you step on the tail, you've got all that concave and lift for drive and, and turning radius. But what I think with the Hydra Hall is, it makes you come up about 20% in your surfing because now you've got a board that when you bury that rail and you push off and you get all that drive, it pays off. When you use your legs and extend through your turns, this board accelerates and accelerates and faster every turn. Once you have a board like that, speed opens maneuvers. That's why you want to go fast. The other thing is, doing roundhouses, these rails don't load up easy, they don't catch, so it's very forgiving. So the, the beginner surfer who's too far forward, he gets cuts him a little slack on having that little bevel in the rail to, for forgiveness. Bye love carbon fiber for first of all it's just a, a beautiful weave pattern and the, it's been tested as far as you look at carbon fiber golf clubs there's a bunch of other things that have carbon fiber the the uh, flex and the rebound from carbon is, is a known fact that it works really well the other thing is this board is so incredibly durable and this just gives it stealth bomber strength and I think that's what a lot of people are looking for especially in a, a board that you're gonna have a while have the Nino Hydra Hull. This is a remake of the original one that's slightly modified in the bottom. It's got the perfect 2 plus 1 fin configuration, been proven forever. It's got a lot of V, a lot of double concaves running up through the bottom. And the beauty of this is, again, the transitions of the concave are so fluid. If you get up to the nose area, this whole entry is so low, easy paddle, easy entry. The difference between the short one and the big one is really paddle power and hanging 10. Those are the reasons you would go with a bigger board. And uh, this is nothing but fun. The beveled rail again doesn't catch. You got all the lift of the concave for nose riding. The trim speed, one of the cool things about having that smooth entry is you run up on the nose and you can drive under the white water and maintain your speed, come up in the open face and still be turning to ride the green face wave. Well, you know, when you look at SurfTech and what they've done and the technology of making boards like this, this board made in America would just be a ridiculous amount of labor. Uh, it's complicated. It's a very, very complicated technologies that they've created with molds and, and strength with uh, combinations, and the finish work is beautiful. Connecting with SurfTech, 
you have an outreach of distribution that I would never be able to do. So everybody worldwide has an opportunity to purchase one of these phenomenal boards. What are you doing in here? Get out of here, this is secret.